What's up guys, Team APS here, I'm Alec. I'm Paul, and today we've got a special treat. The first Structure Deck to ever release in the TCG. Structure Deck Dragon's Roar. And this is Structure Deck Zombie Madness. These are first, ed these are time capsules, back to 2005. They're not the cheapest things to get your hands on. Mm -hmm. And we're about to open them and ruin all their value <laughs> for a duel, but Thumbs up for that, because uh, stuff like this is hard to come by. It really is. Anyways, we're going to pit these decks against each other in a duel, of course, as always. Without further ado, we're gonna hop right into this. See what's inside. Let's go. Guys, you have no idea how much this means to me. This is from 2005. That was my first year of middle school. So like, this deck is very special to me. I never thought I'd see it again. My whole goal in life was to summon Vampire Genesis, the boss monster. He's very awkward because he has to banish a Vampire Lord off the field. And you know, Vampire, vampire Lord's not very strong. So I spent pretty much all of my first year of middle school trying to summon this bad boy. And failing. Can I get that? Classic paper mat. Oh man, there's stuff in here. Got the rule book, a little, uh... What, what, what is this? I, I don't even remember what this is. Oh yeah, this is a little like helpful hint and guides to cards to buy. These are on the back of our mats now. But back then, oh, we got this. Oh, this is crispy. I might just do a little bit, man. Vampire Genesis, first edition. Starter deck two, I mean structure deck two. Oh wow, there's no order here. <laughs> Vampire Lady, Despair from the Dark, Call of the Mummy, Pyramid Turtle, Pot of Greed, Giant Trunate, Magic Jammer, Heavy Storm, Card of Safe Return, oh my gosh. Yeah, oh yeah, and you get multiples in here. Yeah, see I got, uh, I think there's three Pyramid Turtles in here. I can't find the others, but there's supposed to be like three Pyramid Turtles. Two Ryukoki, one Master Kyung Shi, Got no man of cross out, two despair from the dark, one spirit reaper. I think this has three compulses in it, which I think is nuts. Real coke. Snatch deal. We all had a snatch deal at some point. Book of Life and the Last Primer Turtle. So the basic idea of this deck is to summon Vampire Genesis by banishing a Vampire Lord off the field. You can do this one of uh, two ways. Pyramid Turtle can summon any monster that has, uh, I think, 1,500 or less defense. And Call of the Mummy can just special summon a zombie from your hand. It doesn't even specify what kind. All right, so I've got Structure Deck, Dragon's Roar. This is actually pretty interesting because I never owned either of these Structure Decks when I was a kid. I mean. I definitely own like a few sparse cards from them and I vaguely remember when these came out. I just never got a hold of them myself. Okay, so this structure deck is a little bit beat up. You guys can probably tell, but that's just a sign of its age. Those are battle scars. Also, does anybody else miss when they use the Millennium Eye stickers? Like I remember that was like on the packaging of everything. Um, we get an official rule book. This is actually version 5.0, so uh, I don't think they include official rule books and structure decks anymore, and I would say that's maybe a bit of a sin. Our extra information, we got a deck list here, which is very informative, and a little bit of strategies, how to use the deck. Our classic playmat, which I kind of wish we could use. All right, here he is. This is Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Not to be confused with Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, but um, it can't be normal summoner set. It can only be special summoned by tributing a Red Eyes Black Dragon, or this time, B Dragon. Um, from your side of the field, it gets 300 attack for each dragon in your grave. So it's usually going to be dropping at at least around like 3,000 or something. So, pretty cool. Ultra rare. And these cards are not in order. So, like, why don't they just randomize this? That's weird. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. The Armed Dragon strategy is in this deck. Creature Swap, because we do have a floater in here. So these fires neat. Stamping Destruction should be useful. It's Spell and Trap Removal. Pot of Greed. But what... Does it do? The Dragon's Bead. Premature Burials in here. That's really interesting. Some banned cards. Luster Dragon's gonna be a useful beater at 1900. Reload for our bricky hands, I'm sure we'll see. The other Armed Dragon. This is a classic Graveguard in the Fourth Dimension. Add your LV monsters. You know, kind of funny, Armed Dragons are about to get new support, and here we are playing with 2005 cards. And we get, of course, other cool staples. Um, 
There's our searcher, like I said. Heavy Storm and Snatch Steel. So crazy to see in a structure deck. And this was in 2005. Also interesting to me that they include duplicate cards. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, Curse of Anubis might be fun. No one will cross out. Red Eyes, B Dragon. Okay, so the goal is going to be to summon this guy. It's going to be a little bit tricky because I honestly feel like you can probably get more mileage out of just summoning the armed dragons. But either way, Masked Dragon is going to be extremely useful in this strategy. And as you guys saw, this deck's got some really powerful staples. So I'm excited. Um, let me know in the comments which deck do you think is going to win. Or at least which one's your favorite. I'm just suggesting you run this with all these like banned cards or like overpowered cards. They're like, oh yeah, just run this deck with Premature Burial, Painful Choice. And let's not forget, it comes with a uh, card of safe return. And, the, and like, there's a Snatch Deal in here. These were just cards we had. They were just cards that were printed common. We could run them as much as we wanted. And remember when we got Snatch Deal back for all of one format? And how like crazy it was and no one could get their hands on copies because it was so old. And it's just sitting in here, common. This video is sponsored by Gods Unchained. Gods Unchained is a free to play digital card game. In Gods Unchained, you and your opponent will wield power across all of mythology to determine a winner. The first season is off to a great start with way more promise for the future. But what sets Gods Unchained apart from other digital card games? It's designed and maintained by professional TCG players and it's led by former game director of MTG Arena, Chris Clay. The cards in Gods Unchained are recorded on a blockchain, which mean every card is unique and they belong to you, the player. This enables players to be able to trade and sell cards as if they were physical, but this isn't some pay to win system like you might imagine. Any card can be earned for free in game and after upgrading them, you're free to trade and sell them as you wish. If Gods and Chain sounds like it's right for you, then hit the link in the description and thanks again for Gods and Chain for sponsoring today's video. All right, so Dragon's Roar. And Zombie Madness. Some 2005 action, are you ready? We're bringing it back old school. I rolled an 11. Well, that sounds like it's hard to beat. Yep, 9. I'll take the first move. Alright then. May the best zombie win. Set one card face down. And set one monster face down. I will activate Pot of Greed. Ooh, okay. I'll draw two cards. I'll activate my Call of the Mummy. When Ooh. I have no monsters on the field, I can special summon one from the hand. And I'll activate its effect to special summon my Despair from the Dark. I'll normal summon my Master Kyon Shi. That's 1750. And I'll enter battle. Kyon Shi will attack your face. Attack my Masked Dragon. When it's destroyed by battle, I get to special summon a Dragon Monster with 1500 or less attack from my deck to summon another copy of Masked Dragon in defense. I will set one card phase now and end my turn. I'll draw for turn. Pass my turn to you, Duelist. Draw for turn. Normal summon double cost in. Okay. Yeah, 1700. Now I'll enter battle. Double cost in will attack your Mass Dragon. Alright, so Mass Dragon is destroyed and it'll let me summon another Dragon Monster from mm -hmm. my deck. Another Mass Dragon from my deck. I don't even bother putting your deck away. Because my Master Kion Shi is going to attack your other Mass Dragon. With Mass Dragon's effect, I'll summon my, my Twin Headed Behemoth. So if it gets destroyed, I can actually resummon it back at the end of the turn. Despair from the dark, attack his twin headed behemoth. I'll end right there. I'll draw from my turn. Alright, so at the end phase, my twin headed behemoth can return to the field. Its attack and defense are a thousand though. I'll draw for turn. I'll activate my pot of greed. It lets me draw two cards from my deck. I'll activate my stamping destruction. So while I have a face of dragon type monster, which I do, I can destroy a spell or trap in the field and inflict 500 points of damage to the controller. So I'll target this card. You hit. My real. Next I'll normal summon Luster Dragon. It so does. I'm going to use Luster Dragon and I'll attack double cost and set one card face down and pass turn. Draw for turn. I'll enter battle. Master Kion Shi will attack your twin headed behemoth and my despair from a dark with twenty-eight will attack your luster dragon. I'll activate my interdimensional matter transporter. So I can send a face up monster in my field, remove it from play. <laughs> Uh, until the end phase. Then my Despair from the Dark will attack you directly for 28. I'll pass there. All right, so Luster Dragon returns to the field, and I'll draw for turn. Activate my Stamping Destruction, since I control a Dragon Monster. 
and target call the money. Now I'll enter the battle. Luster Dragon's gonna attack Master Kyonji. In main phase two, I'll activate Creature Swap. Ah. So now you get my Luster Dragon and I'll be taking Despair from the Dark. And that's gonna end my turn. Draw for turn. I will go ahead and activate my Mystical Space Typhoon, targeting your face down. You hit my Heavy Storm. Normal Summon, my Soul Absorbing Bone Tower, and I'll activate my Creature Swap. So I'll be letting you have this Bone Tower. And I'll be taking back my monster. Now I'll enter battle. Luster Dragon will attack your so my soul absorbing bone tower. And then Despair from the Dark will attack with 2800. And I pass there. I draw. My swords are revealing light. Ah. Which prevents you from attacking for three turns. And I'll pass turn. Draw. Set the card. And pass. One turn for swords are revealing light. I'll have to pass again. Draw. And I'll pass. It's two turns for swords are revealing light. I'll pass one more time. Draw. Set one and pass again. Yeah, so my Swords of Revealing Light is destroyed, and I will normal summon my Red Eyes Beach It. And I can use its effect to send it to the graveyard and special summon a Red Eyes Black Dragon from my hand. So I'll activate its effect and summon Red Eyes Bee Dragon. And I'm going to go ahead and enter the battle phase. Red Eyes will attack Luster Dragon. And now in main phase two, I will special summon my Red Eyes Darkness Dragon by tributing Red Eyes Bee Dragon. That's my boss monster and it gains 300 attack for every dragon type monster in the graveyard. How many is So that? currently that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's getting 2100. So he's actually at 4500 attack points. I will set two cards and pass turn. I'll draw. I will activate my trap, compose. I will target your Red Eyes Darkness Dragon and bounce it back to your hand. Okay, so I'll normal summon, regenerating mummy. That's 1800, now enter battle. My mummy will attack for game. That's game one. All right. All right. Uh, I will set two cards face down and pass. So I'll draw for turn. I'll normal summon my luster dragon. Again, it's got 1900, so, and I'm going to enter the battle phase and attack for 1900. Set one. I'll set two cards and pass turn to you. And I'll draw. And I'll pass. <laughs> No, no, okay. <laughs> Draw for turn, enter the battle, and attack for 1900. Main phase two, I will set one monster face down, and pass turn to you. And I draw, and I activate Pot of Greed to draw two. I will activate my Nobleman of Crossout, where I can target one of your face down defense position monsters and remove it from play. So my mass dragon is banished. I'm gonna set one and activate my reload. Where I Ooh. shuffle in my hand and draw the same number of cards. Add four cards. I will normal summon my pyramid turtle. And then I'll activate my creature swap. So we get to trade. I'll use my interdimensional matter transporter. Oh so my god. So I can banish my luster dragon, which means can't. So I'll banish luster dragon into the end phase. Enter battle. Pyramid turtle will attack for 1200. I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. At the end of the turn, my luster dragon will return. Draw. Set. One card face to pass my turn. We'll draw. We'll switch my pyramid turtle to defense, and I'll pass. I'll draw. I'll enter battle and use my luster dragon and attack pyramid turtle. Pyramid turtle. I can special summon a monster from my deck. Pyramid turtle. Pass turn. Draw for a turn, and I'll pass. I'll draw for turn. Enter battle, and my luster dragon will attack a pyramid turtle. Pyramid turtle, just like the first, and it'll be another pyramid turtle. That will end my turn. Draw. I pass. Draw for turn. And activate my pot of greed. That ah. lets me draw two more cards. I'll activate my reload. Ah. So this lets me take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Shuffle them into my deck and I get to draw seven more. Draw one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'll normal summon my master dragon into the battle phase. Luster dragon and attack pyramid turtle. Okay, the Pyramid Turtle is supposed to summon a zombie, and I will summon my Ryu Koki, because Pyramid Turtle can summon a monster that has 2,000 or less defense. In main phase two, I'll activate my Creature Swap. So, with Creature Swap, I can give you my Mass Dragon and take your Ryu Koki. I will chain, activate Compulsory Evacuation Device, and I target my Ryu Koki. All right, well, that's gonna have to end my turn. Draw for turn. Now, I'll activate my Call of the Mummy. Because I control no monsters, I can special summon a zombie from my hand. And I'll use that effect to special summon my Ryu Koki. And I'll enter battle. My Ryu Koki will attack your Luster Dragon at 2400. I will set one card face down and end my turn. I'll draw my Snatch Deal. 
So I can control, or I can equip it to one of your monsters and take control of it. But you'll gain 1,000 life points during to your standby phases. Chain my Dust Tornado. It's already in your Snatch deal. Well, I'll switch my Mass Dragon to Defense Mode. Pass my turn there. Draw for turn. I will normal summon my re Regenerating Mummy, and I'll enter battle. My Regenerating Mummy has 18. It'll attack your Mass Dragon. Mass Dragon's destroyed. Its effect will let me summon a Dragon Monster with 1,500 less attack. My final mass dragon. And then I'll have my Ryukoki attack your last mass dragon. So same thing, I get to summon a dragon, and this time I'll be summoning my armed dragon, LV3. And I'll pass. All right, I'll draw for turn. So during my standby phase, I can activate the effect of armed dragon LV3, or level three. I can send it to the graveyard to special summon an armed dragon level five from my deck. Armed Dragon level 5 lets me send a monster from my hand to the grave to destroy a monster on your side of the field with attack less than or equal to what I sent. I'll go ahead and activate the effect of Armed Dragon level 5 and discard Red Eyes Black Dragon and target Ryukogi. I'll activate my Premature Burial. Yikes! So I can pay 800 life points to target a monster in my graveyard and special summon it. And then it gets equipped with this card. So, I'm going to be summoning my Red Eyes Black Dragon. I'll normal summon Twin-Headed Behemoth. And now I can enter the battle phase. Before you enter battle, I'll activate Composer Evacuation Device on your armed dragon. Well, I'll use my trap card, the Dragon's Bead. Oh no! So it lets me discard a card from my hand and negate a trap that targets a face-up dragon and destroy that trap. I did target I a face-up dragon. I will discard this very useless Red Eyes Bead chick. Now I will use Red Eyes Bee Dragon and attack Regenerating Mummy. Then I'll attack you for 15 with Twin Headed Behemoth and finish you off with Arm Dragon Level 5 for 24. And that's game. Activate my Call of the Mummy and activate Reload. Oh. So I got that three cards in hand. I'll shuffle those in and draw three. Draw three. All right, so I'll use the effect of my Call of the Mummy to special summon a zombie from my hand. I'll special summon my Regenerating Mummy and then I will set one face down and I'll pass. I'll draw for turn. Activate my Nobleman of Crossout on your set monster. And you'll you be banished. banished or removed from play my Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. I'll normal summon my Luster Dragon. And I'll attack your Regenerating Mummy for 100 damage. And I'll set two cards and pass turn. And I'll draw for turn. I will activate the effect of my Call of the Mummy to special summon a zombie from my hand, my Master Kion Shi. And then I will tribute that Master Kion Shi for my Ryu Koki. Ryukoki has 2400, and I'll use him to attack your Lusted Dragon. And I'll pass. I'll draw for turn. I'll set a monster and pass turn. I'll draw. Alright, I'll enter battle. Ryukoki will attack your face down. Alright, you attacked my Masked Dragon. Alright, anyways, I'll use this effect to special summon Armed Dragon level 3. I'll pass right there. I'll draw for turn. In my standby phase, I'll use Armed Dragon level 3. I can send it to the graveyard. And I get to summon Armed Dragon level 5. So I'll activate my Stamping Destruction. Since I control a dragon, I can destroy or call the mummy and deal 500 damage to you. Then I will go to my battle phase. Armed Dragon level 5 is going to ram right into Ryukoki. Pass turn. I'll draw. I will normal summon my Pyramid Turtle. And my Pyramid Turtle has 1200 and I'll use it to attack you directly. And I'll pass there. I'll draw. I'll pass. Draw for turn. Enter battle. Pyramid Turtle for 12. And I'll pass. I'll draw. Set one card face down. Pass turn. Draw for turn. I will normal summon my double costin. And I'll enter battle. Pyramid turtle attack for 12. I'll activate my Call of the Haunted. Let's me target a monster in my grave and summon an attack position. So I'll target my Armed Dragon level 5. So I'll pass right there. Draw for turn. Okay, I'm gonna enter battle phase. I'll use my Armed Dragon to attack double cost. Pass turn. Draw for turn. I'll set one face down and switch my Pyramid turtle to defensive mode. And I'll pass. Draw for turn. Set a card face down and activate my reload. Three cards. One. Two, three. I'll use my Arm Dragon level 5's effect, and it lets me discard my Red Eyes Darkness Dragon and destroy your Pyramid Turtle. Pyramid Turtle cannot get its effect because it's not destroyed by battle. Then I'll enter battle. Attack your set card. You hit my Spirit Reaper, who cannot be destroyed Ooh. by battle. Yeah, that's going to be it for my turn. Draw for turn. I will set one card face down, and I'll pass to you. I'll draw for turn. Activate Dragon's Rage. So it gives my dragons piercing when they attack defense position monsters. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the battle 
phase, an attack with Arm Dragon level 5 on Spirit Reaper. And in main phase 2, I'll set one card past you. Drop turn. I will activate my Nobleman of Cross out on your face down monster. I will activate my face down card, Compulsory Evacuation Device. Mm. And I aim to bounce your Arm Dragon to hand. And I'll switch my Spirit Reaper to attack position. My Spirit Reaper will attack you directly for 300. And when this monster successfully attacks directly, we discard a random card from your hand. That one. And I'll pass there. All right, I'll draw for turn. I'll normal summon my Twin-Headed Behemoth into battle. Twin-Headed Behemoth attacks your Spirit Reaper. And that's going to pass turn for me. I'll draw for turn. I will activate my Giant True Nade. Oh boy. Return all spell and trap cards on the field to the hand. Okay. Next, I will activate my Book of Life. I can special summon a zombie monster from my graveyard and banish one from yours. I will special summon my Ryu Koki and I will banish your, yeah, your Mass Dragon. Now, I'll enter battle. My Ryu Koki with 24 will attack your Twin Headed Behemoth. And then my Spirit Reaper will attack you for 300. And another card from my hand. Hit Arm Dragon LV5. End phase. Okay, so in the end phase, my Twin Headed Behemoth will return in the field, but with a thousand attack and defense. And I'll draw for turn. I'll activate my Premature Burial. So by paying 800 life points, I get to select a monster in my graveyard. I'll pay 800 and target my Armed Dragon LV5. I can special summon it and equip it with Premature Burial. I'll use Arm Dragon level five's effect. I'll discard Armed Dragon to target Ryu Koki and destroy it. I'll switch Twin-Headed Behemoth to attack position. I'll enter the battle phase. Twin-Headed Behemoth attacks with 1,000. 2,400 with Armed Dragon level five. I'll set two cards face down. All right, I'll draw for turn. I will activate my Pot of Free to draw two. Okay, I will tribute my Spirit Reaper for my Vampire Lord. But uh, Vampire Lord won't be staying because I will now, I will banish my Vampire Lord to sub Summon my Vampire Genesis. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's got 3k and I can discard a zombie monster to special summon another zombie monster from my graveyard. I don't actually have that, but what I will be doing is playing Book of Life. Okay. So I can special summon a zombie from my grave and banish one a banish one monster from yours. Ryu Koki! And now enter battle. My Vampire Genesis will attack your arm dragon level 5. And activate my Ceasefire! Oh no, what does that do? So this flips all defense position monsters on the field face Oh up, no! And inflicts 500 points of damage to you for each effect monster in the field. So since there are four effect monsters in <laughs> the field, you'll take oh, it's so 2,000 dumb. damage. Ugh, all right. Good games, though. Very, very classic indeed. I don't remember losing a ceasefire as a kid. I don't know whose classic that is. So that's the duel, guys. Oh, um, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I did. This was pretty cool. It really takes you back. I think they're fun. Uh, it's a lot of cards that we, we literally can't use in the current game. Not because they've been crept, because a lot of them are banned. Yeah. Fun duel. Yeah, I love these cards. I will be keeping these. You can't have them. They're all these are mine. If you guys like the video, of course, be sure to drop a like. These decks were very expensive to obtain, so we would definitely appreciate it. And let us know if you'd like to see a 3 of game. I'd yeah. be curious to see what we could do with if we took out some of these more useless cards like Reload. Or the Graveyard in the 4th Dimension. God. You never did play that. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for the duel, so we will catch you guys in the next one. Past turn. <laughs>